Hello, welcome back. We're out here tying up a few jigs. I have a whole series on pouring, painting, and tying your own bucktail jigs. We use these jigs a lot, saltwater for flounder, but you can use them for a lot of other fish species as well. I'll put a link to that series up there in the cards. But I get a lot of requests on if I sell any of these jigs. I'm going to show you tying one up real time in this video, so you'll see why the answer is typically no. Hit that subscribe button down there. Don't forget the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. Check this out. So we're going to go ahead and tie this up. That's the battery charger running in the background. So this gives us a little base right here for the hair to actually hang on to. Now we're going to get us a little tuft of this hair. Oops. Come here. Must be getting taller. Damn it. Ground's getting further away all the time. Make sure <clears throat> all that hair is lined up the way you want it before you sock it down with that thread. One more little bit. Now let's trim this up here where this extra stuff is.
if you're real careful when you line your hair up, you don't have to do all this trimming. But I'm not, and I think this is a little faster anyway. So now you got the hair set where you want it. You just wrap it up and lock it all in there. And just tie this final bit. Two, three, four, five. A little whip finish there. Snippy, snippy. And we're going to paint on some loon hardhead clear. This will seal the threads, make them a lot more durable, keep the toothy critters from chewing up our jigs. There we go. Put a couple eyeballs on there. And hang him up to dry. That's pretty much it. Pretty easy to do. So there you go. That's how long it takes just to tie one of these. So if you can imagine the time it takes to pour all of them, then to paint all of them and cure the paint, and then to tie them up, Believe it or not, I did the math, and I'm looking at five to six jigs an hour tops. So I don't know how much you guys want to get paid on what you do for a living, but this is not what I want to do for my career. This I do as a hobby, and mainly to offset some of the costs of all of them we lose. You can get a lot of free ones if you want. They're at the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel in water anywhere from 60 to about 25 feet deep. Normally from the third island across the tube to the fourth island all the way to the high rise. So you can find a bunch of them right there. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button down there. Don't forget the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. And again, I'm showing you guys how to make your own in that series up there in the cards. Check it out. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <coughs> Come here. Must be getting taller. Damn it. Ground's getting further away all the time.